Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy 2013. So I am back today. I am so sorry for the long absence. I just took a personal leave of absence and I went and I interned and shadowed the school counselor at my aunt's school in California. So that was a great um, educational opportunity for me and I'm really glad that I decided to do that. Um, but anyway, I'm back and I have a little time today. I wanted to quickly show you what I got for Christmas. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's a little dark outside, but I've got my Christmas tree lit, so hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay. So I'm just going to start off with actually, it's going to be kind of a little collective haul as well as what I got for Christmas because I got some things at, um, sorry, I'm like all out of breath. <laughs> um, I got some things at Disneyland and things like that. Um, when my mom came down to visit me in California, she took me on a surprise trip to Disneyland, so I got some things there, um, but I'm just going to go real quick. Anyway, before I left, I ordered a necklace from Origami Owl, and it is a company that does these little, um, it's called a living locket, so you can actually open this up and exchange the charms that are inside, um, which is absolutely amazing, but I just got these charms. I got a little apple, a K, an anchor, an I love shopping, and an emerald. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but I just absolutely love this necklace. It's long, and I purchased this for myself as a Christmas gift, just because I think it's nice to have some nicer um, jewelry staples in your wardrobe, and I think something like this, um, and it came in this cute little packaging, is just absolutely beautiful, and you can wear it anytime. So I got that before I left for California, um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and start with my stocking. So this is my stocking here, and I'm just going to go ahead and dig right in. The first thing I got was a necklace from um, Hellsberg Diamonds. I hope I'm saying that right. And it is actually a shamrock necklace, which is absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure I've mentioned on here before, but if I haven't, um, I'm actually planning to study abroad in Ireland this summer. So I'm really excited about that. And so my mom has been getting me all kinds of Ireland stuff um, to get me excited to go. So I am just so thrilled. Um, and then the next thing I got in here is actually um, something that I've been needing. It's kind of a necessity, not really something like woo, but <laughs> um, it is my Clarisonic replacement head. Um, and I use my Clarisonic every night, so I've definitely been needing one of those. And then I got a pack of nail files, which is absolutely fun. And then I did get, and I'm so excited my mom got this for me. She actually ordered it on QVC, um, but it was the duo. And it is the Cinderella Moonlit Kiss Lipstick Set and the Cinderella Stroke of Midnight Compact Mirror. Um, and I was so excited to get these because I think this compact is absolutely beautiful and I've wanted it since I saw that they had released it and I could not find it in my Sephora. Um, and I'm pretty sure that they sold out on QVC. But if I can find it, I'll definitely link it below. But if you guys want me to review these in depth, I definitely can do that in a different video. I just don't have a ton of time and I really wanted to get this filmed because it's going up late anyway. So I, want, I was just so excited to show you what I got for Christmas because I love watching these kind of videos. You guys know it's not to brag. Um, these videos are just so fun. And then I got the Godiva Ultimate Dessert Truffles that have um, six flavors. Chocolate Lava Cake, Chocolate Eclair, Strawberry Cream Tart, Red Velvet Cake, Tiramisu, and Creme Brulee. So amazing. Very excited about that. And then I got, um, sorry, I'm just some, I stuck my Disneyland stuff in here. So I'm trying to separate those out because I obviously didn't get that in my stocking. Um, I definitely got four Butter London nail polish, which is I'm ex so excited about because I could not splurge um, on these on my own because they're about $14 a bottle, but I got four, so I am just absolutely over the moon. I love, love, love this nail polish. Definitely my favorite. Um, the first one I got is called Lilibet's Jubilee, and it's actually the one I'm wearing on my nails right now, and I'm not a big metallic person, so I was a little hesitant about this one, but it changes color in the light. It looks like a kind of pinky purple in the sunlight, and then in the shade, it's more of a um, metallic mauve kind of color. It's gorgeous. And then I got Henley Regetta. I got um, Darlene <laughs> and Lovely Jubilee. So I don't know how well you could see those, but absolutely in love with that nail polish. 
so excited I got that. And then I got three Essie nail polishes on top of that. I did get Your Hut or Mine, Main Squeeze, and lying around so kind of more pastel-y summer shades but very very pretty nonetheless i was absolutely ecstatic and then i got two things from cookie lee um they are these beautiful drop earrings and a matching bracelet um so beautiful so so fun and that's all that i got in my stocking now on to my actual christmas gifts um, the first thing that I got, which I was excited about, lots of lip products, was this EOS set from um, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. So it's got Blueberry Potion, Watermelon Wonderland, and Sweet Vanilla Nonsense. So I'm very excited to try those. I've never actually tried EOS. Kind of crazy. I got the Taylor Swift Red CD. Super excited about that. I did get this Ireland book. Like I said, my um, mom has been getting me all kinds of Ireland stuff. Um, but it's a customized accordion scrapbook. So it says Ireland 2013, and when you open it, it comes out like an accordion. So super, super cool. Um, and I'm really excited to put my pictures in that once I get them. And then I got Just Dance 4. I'm so excited because there's a One Direction song on here, and I love One Direction because I'm a giant 13-year-old, so that's cool. <laughs> Um, and then I got this beautiful candy cane apron. So cute. It just makes me want to like be in the kitchen baking cupcakes all the time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly. I did get two Martha Stewart punches because I love to scrapbook. I'm sure you guys know. If you would like me to do some crafting videos, please leave it in the comment section below or like this video um, because I would love to do that if you guys are interested in seeing that. But anyway, if this is a punch around the page set in the winter snow and then this one is a deep edge punch that has little presents on it so I can definitely feature these in maybe a scrapbook layout page if you guys are interested in seeing something like that for sure let me know um, and then I got this cute cute lunch box um, because I am doing my student teaching and I have been having to you know bring my lunch with me um, and this is just such a cute one I believe my mom got me this on QVC as well um, if I can find it again I will link it below but so cute definitely way better than taking it in a plastic bag all right <laughs> um, and then I just got two more things the um, other thing that I got is actually a nutcracker from the Steinbach Oh my goodness, I'm not German, so I'm not pronouncing this right. It's Steinbach Kuhlent, um, but it is actually a nutcracker made from Germany. And I probably should do a Christmas decor video, um, but if you don't know, I am in love with nutcrackers. And I get one to two every year, so my nutcracker collection is slowly growing. Um, but he is an official one from Germany. He's got the tag and the stamp at the bottom. So he's not just like the little cheap $15 ones that you can find at Target or TJ Maxx. Um, he is like from Germany and he's beautiful and I love him so much so I was so so excited to get him um, because I just absolutely love, love nutcrackers and I am German um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm half German and half Irish so um, definitely love that and I actually would love to go to Germany I'd love to study abroad there but they don't speak English so um, Ireland then was my first choice because I can actually get around um, <laughs> and then the very last thing my mom actually got me again I think she got this off of QVC and it is this is gonna be like really awkward to show you I don't know if I can it is a year's supply of the one products which I am so excited about because I have been wanting to try one for years and I didn't because it's just really expensive and I know you're supposed to use a lot of it when you use it so I was a little hesitant but it comes with all of these DVDs and a booklet so I'm definitely gonna be reading up on this making sure um, I am doing everything correct so then I just wanted to show you real quick the couple things I got at Disneyland the first thing I got was this charm bracelet or necklace excuse me they came with all of these Christmas charms and then I bought another charm set um, and this one is like a sea, like it's got seashells and a little fish. Um, and these green ones, this sparkle green one and this little um, square green one right here actually came on this. But since they were Christmas colors, I just put them on with my Christmas set um, to make it more full and festive. So I got those. And then I got this necklace. 
that I thought was so cool because it has a four leaf clover and a horseshoe on it. So I'm definitely thinking 2013 is gonna be my lucky year with all of my shamrock jewelry. <laughs> Um, but then the very last thing that I got, I actually got this at an antique store called The Carriage House. And if you're ever near Apple Valley um, or traveling to California, go check this place out. It's absolutely amazing. And it's just a huge, huge store of antique stuff. Um, and I got myself this ring because I could not pass it up. It was absolutely beautiful. And it was $40. Um, so definitely a little splurge, but I just think it is beyond gorgeous. Um, and just uh, definitely just such a statement piece um, and I love it. So that was my really fast <laughs> Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just really wanted to get this up for you. I just wanted to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope everyone had a wonderful, merry holiday season, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope you just had a great time spending time with your family, your loved ones and just having a great year. I hope you have a wonderful 2013. I plan on um, uploading my videos once a week again until I go study abroad in Ireland. Um, then I'll probably take another leave of absence, but until then, I will see you guys in 2013.